Good afternoon and happy Thursday. Welcome to Mrs. Abel's Cartoon at Noon. Today is Thursday, April the 23rd, 2020. Today we're going to draw the pink panther. So go ahead and grab a pencil or a marker. Grab a piece of paper and some things to color with. Make sure you have the color pink in there. And don't forget that at any point in time during this lesson, if you need a little bit of extra time to catch up, you can always go ahead and hit that pause button, get caught up, and then keep on going. All right, we are going to put our page in the portrait format that's vertical straight up and down as you can see we are going to be doing the pink panther's entire body so we're going to start with his head and we're really going to start with his eyes and his eyebrows i want those very close to the top of the page so that you have enough room to do his face and then his nice tall skinny body and his long tail so we really want to keep paying attention to the proportions on our page to make sure that we have enough room all right we will start with the pink panther's eyes they are two oval shaped eyes and there is a bit of space in between the two of them so you're going to go pretty close to the top of your page, you know, maybe down an inch or two, and you're going to go ahead and put two ovals, one oval for one eye, one oval for the other eye, with a little bit of space in between them. Inside those ovals, I'd like you to draw two other ovals. These are the pupils of the Pink Panther's eyes. If you'd like and you have room, you can go ahead and do even a tinier circle at the very top and then go ahead and fill it all in, leaving that little circle white. That will give the highlight in his eye, which, as you know, is a hallmark of cartoon eyes. As you're filling it in, you can make sure that you're smoothing out any bumps, make sure that you're getting them to be the same size and all that good stuff. All right, let's go ahead and get Pink Panther's eyebrows. They are just two rectangular shapes that are slanted a little bit to give him a little bit of expression and they are filled in black. So over this eye, you're going to do an angled line like so. You can go parallel to that a little bit further up like that and then go ahead and join that together like so. Same thing over the other eye, a line that's on a slight angle like that, come down a little bit, draw another parallel line, and then go ahead and close off the edges, and his eyebrows move around a lot, he's got lots of good expression, and they are filled in black, so, and they always look like they're not really quite attached to his head, which is kind of a fun thing about the Pink Panther, his eyebrows are always sort of following the look of his eyes and you'll you'll get those nice and dark and filled in like that okay pink panther's nose is a diamond shape so what i want you to do in between his eyes here is you're going to draw the tr the top of a triangle so a little mountain peak like so and then i want you to do a nice uppercase letter v like that to go ahead and bring the rest of his nose together in the middle i want you to do a nice curved line that splits that nose kind of at the halfway point. All right, Pink Panther's cheeks are what I call a soft rectangle. When I say a soft shape, what I mean is that the edges aren't really sharp and cornered. They're nice smooth lines and they're on an angle a little bit. So you're gonna start at this part of his nose. We wanna come down a little bit, soft rectangle like so, and back up to the point at the bottom of his nose. It's kind of a soft shape like so. Same thing on the other side. Angle it down a little bit, turn the corner, turn the corner again, and right back up to the point at the bottom of his nose. All right, he's got two whiskers on each side. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw those two whiskers for the Pink Panther, get those whiskers out there. All right, the Pink Panther's mouth underneath here, we're just going to do a nice smiley face look like that. And we're gonna put a little tongue in there, which is just two little bumps like that. <clears throat> Excuse me, you will go ahead and color in the inside of his mouth so it's nice and dark and then later you can color his tongue red or pink or whatever you'd like all right his chin is another smooth line that curves from one side of his cheek to the other side of his cheek so you see how he's starting to come to life all right let's get the pink panther's head in there <clears throat> first of all you're going to join a line in between his eyes it's slightly curved like that and then we're going to continue that line on one side of his head like so, making it go a little bit further than the eyebrow. Same thing on the other side. Curve a line like that. And now we're gonna get his ears in there. His ears are just nice, big, kind of oval shaped, but they're thinner at the bottom. They're pinched at the bottom, almost like an upside down teardrop. Same thing on the other side. 
come back together a little bit thinner. Those are his ears. And then to get the sides of his head, you're going to do like a um, uppercase letter C or a letter C like this that joins back to his cheek. Same thing on the other side, a curve that joins back to his cheek. All right, we're almost done with the Pink Panther's face. Last thing we need are these smile lines. So right from the top of his cheek, there's a line that comes up with a curve in there that gives that little smile on that side. Same thing on this side, a line up with the little cheek creases at the top. And there you have your Pink Panther's face. All right, let's get our Pink Panther body in there. Now I made his head a little bit big. So my body's gonna be a little bit small. That's okay, in cartoons, sometimes the heads, it's like a caricature. Sometimes the heads are big and the bodies are little, depending on how much room you have on your paper. So I'm gonna go ahead and do his nice, thin little neck. He's got a skinny little neck. And his arms, are gonna, we're gonna put his arms out to the side. So what I want you to do after you've drawn that neck is a curved line, that kind of goes down a little bit, it's angled. Those are the tops of his arms. We're gonna do the bottom of his arm, like where his armpit is here. So I want you to go ahead and do a line like that, leave some room and go ahead over here and do an angled line on the other side. We'll worry about his arms in just a sec. Let's get his body in there. Nice big thin oval shape for his body. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come down here and stop like so. Same thing on the other side, I'm gonna do a nice oval kind of a shape but I'm gonna stop, I wanna leave room for his legs in between there. All right, this nice light pink circle or oval on his belly, just go ahead and do a nice smooth thin oval, oval, excuse me, that'll be the lighter color pink, just like his face, and then everything else is the darker pink. All right, let's get his legs in there and then we'll worry about his arms. So for his legs, they're, they're kind of put together. So from this bottom right here where you did that oval, you're gonna do one, Curved line like that. And then right on the other side, nice and thin. It just curves out just a little bit. In between those, we're going to put the, the line here. We're going to come down a little bit and do a line that goes a little bit longer than the lines that you just did for his legs. Because now we're going to get his nice big feet in there. So his feet is just a curve that comes all the way over and curves down like that. Same thing on the other side curves over like that and then you can just join them together join them to that middle line right there that gives his two feet go ahead and get his claws or his toe marks in there which are just two curved lines on one foot same thing on the other foot two curved lines all right let's get his tail in there and then we'll work on his arms so his tail starts on the side of his body I like it to go just as long he's got a really long tail so his tail kind of curves all the way down to the bottom of the page you're going to do another parallel line next to that all the way down and then just a little curved line to close that off and that gives his tail that's right against the bottom of the page. All right, let's get the Pink Panther's arms in there. So like I said, we started up here at his shoulders and we went a little bit down. So now what I want you to do is do an angled line that goes up and an angled line that goes up like that because that shows that his elbows, he's kind of got bent elbows. Same thing on the other side, we're gonna do an angled line that comes up the page like this a little bit and another angled line. So he has nice, thin, skinny arms and I kept those lines parallel to one another. All right, to get his hand in there, a little bit tricky. So we're gonna do this step by step. So to get this little hand, first we're gonna do a little curve. That's part of his hand like that. His thumb is going to be facing his face. So you do a curve line like so. He's kind of pointing, He's got his, his thumbs are kind of looking back at his cheeks. And then to do his hand, you'll do a curved line like this, then a, another curved line like so, and then we're gonna get his pinky in there. His pinky comes around like that, <clears throat> and then a little bit of a bump like so to get his hand. So it kind of looks like his hand is backwards like that. Same thing on the other side, except backwards. So over here on this arm, little curve. His thumb again is going to be pointing back at his face, and then we'll get his hand in there. Curved line down this way. Next to that, a curve. And then let's get his pinky in there. It's a curved line that comes around, and then 
one last little bump like that gives the pink panthers hands. He's saying like, what? What did I do? What's up? Da -dun 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 Go ahead and color him in. His eyes are bright yellow. He is light pink and dark pink. I cannot wait to see these. Don't forget if you've missed any of our cartoons at noon, there's a whole bunch of them now. You can go to youtube.com and search for Mrs. Abel's cartoon at noon and they are all there. Feel free to post these on Facebook. I'd love to see your finished artwork, pictures of you with your artwork, and you can put hashtag cartoon at noon. And you can also always email them to me at kabel, K-A-B-E-L-L, -L, at myholyfamilyschool.org. If you have any requests for any cartoons that you'd like to see in the coming weeks, please let me know. Otherwise, have a happy Thursday. Can't wait to see your Pink Panthers, and we will see you tomorrow.